everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jess Shaw and today I have for you a very exciting video if you watched my last video well not my last video my last last video if you watched my postgrad diaries um episode two you would have seen that I unboxed my new iPad I love this girl okay I love her this was my graduation gift to myself if you didn't know I recently graduated college with my degree a bachelor's yes ma'am yes so i graduated college this past may because of my wonderful family and our family friends i was able to go ahead and uh purchase a grad gift and that is this ipad right here if you haven't watched my what's on my iphone video you need to go watch that you need to stop this and go watch that it's my most watched video it has like 86 85,000 views go watch it okay like if you watch this and you see that you like my aesthetic go watch go watch what's on my iphone because that one's pretty good too so i can't wait to show you guys what's on my ipad i use my ipad um for creativity and productivity this thing right here is helping me achieve all of my dreams and i really just wanted to show you guys how um i do that i'm gonna show you what apps i use how i set it up all of that good stuff so yeah let's get into it so i have the ipad air um the fifth generation in starlight you can't really tell because my camera is kind of bright but this is what it looks like it's like a pretty beige champagne color of course i bought the apple um, pencil to go with it this is the second generation i think um i love this girly it's such a good size it's not too small it's not too big it's very lightweight she charges fast um she runs out of battery slowly it's just it's a good time it's a great time i do have a paper like lock screen on it that i got from amazon and then this clear case that i have is also from amazon if i can find um the products i will link it down below that's the specs of my ipad let's get into what's on it okay so here is my ipad so starting with my lock screen this is my vision board for July. I love making monthly vision boards. Um, as you can see, this one is really about wellness and taking care of myself. I just made on um, my lock screen my vision board and it just looks so stunning. And it's also like a little reminder every time I pick up my iPad that, hey, this is what this month is about. This is what we're working on this month. So yeah, my iPad does have the touch ID right here. There you go. So this is what the inside of my iPad looks like. Um, I'm first gonna turn it this way. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what my iPad looks like in portrait because part of my background gets hidden when it's landscape, as you can see. So this is what it looks like in portrait. Um, so my home screen or my wallpaper for my home screen is just this really pretty pink color. And then at the bottom is this scripture. It's Matthew 7 verses 24 through 25 in the message translation. Um, and it's the part of um, the Bible where Jesus talks about building your house on um, a solid foundation. I just thought that was a really important scripture for me in this current season of my life. When I'm building my platforms, when I'm working on all the things I'm working on um, to make sure that I build everything on Christ so yeah okay so getting into the iPad so this is my home screen as I've said multiple times <laughs> so here I have a couple of widgets um, not a couple all of these are widgets <laughs> um, but first I want to start with the bottom row right here so on the bottom right here, I have FaceTime, App Store, Photos, Notes, Chrome, iBooks, because I love to read. I Especially on my iPad, I love reading on my iPad. I have the Bible app, um, the Clock app, and then Spotify. I love Spotify. Spotify over Apple Music all day. Right here, this section is like your recently used apps. So um, recently I've been on Good Notes, Notion, and Instagram. And then um, 
some more recently used apps right here. So basically all of these are widgets and I wanted the first screen on my iPad to be one, aesthetic, <laughs> because why not? And two, um, functional um, and to have easy access to things. So um, if we start up here, this is a widget and I believe I used Widget Smith for this. You just go in, add a picture, and then you add that picture to the home screen. The app is called Widget Smith, once again. Um, but right here I have a quote um, that um, motivates me whenever I see it. It says, be passionate and be involved in what you believe in and do it as thoroughly and honestly and fearlessly as you can. And I think it's by Marie Calvin or Colvin that says right there. Yeah, that really just inspires me to do what it is that I'm doing um, without any fear and to do it boldly. <laughs> and another picture that I have using the Widget Smith widget is this little um, gradient heart right here. Um, it's really cute, so I put it there. <laughs> um, so the next widget I have is from Notion. This is a Notion widget. And I just have it here so that I can easily um, get to whatever um, Notion page that I want to get to. So right now, um, as you can see, it says what's on my iPad because <laughs> I was going over my video notes before this video. And then it says master calendar and job applications. Um, I'm currently in the job search. So I have literally every job that I've applied for so far in this Notion page. I should give you guys a Notion tour one of these days. But yeah, I have every job I have applied to in that page. And then my master calendar is literally just um, my content calendar. Here we go. And yes, I love dark mode, don't come for me. Next, I have this app, which is the Dawn app. It's a widget from the Dawn app. And it's basically like a to-do list um, widget where you can just write your to-do list. I didn't put anything on my to-do list today um, because I wrote it in my Good Notes. Good Notes is where I have my planner, so I like to plan digitally. Um, ever since I got my iPad, that's what I've been doing. I've been planning on my iPad. So here it is. Um, I believe this is the Good Monday Planner. You can find it on Etsy. So yeah, you just tap it and it takes you to... Um, your planner so this is for July this is a monthly spread and then you just tap on whatever you want to tap on so today's the 11th so I tap on the 11th of July and here you go I love to plan my days on my iPad it's just so much fun you can make it however you want to make it um, you can customize it however you want to customize it I just love to add like inspo pics um, and like to-do lists and stuff like that so this is how I plan my life. Let me know in the comments or like this video if you want me to do like a how I plan my week or how I plan my day. Just like a digital planning video because I will definitely do that. But this is what I use Good Notes for. I really like this um, digital planner. I'll have it linked um, because I don't know it's just really cute and like clean and you can make it like totally your own if you want. Here are some days that I've done before, like in a more like creative manner. I really love digital planning. It's so fun. Here, this one's really cool. If you want me to go more in depth with my digital planning, I will, let me know. But that's what I use my Good Notes app for, which it's, it's actually free now. It never used to be free, but it is. So right up above the Good Notes app is this widget right here. It's this transparent clock and I love it so much. I saw it first on Pinterest and I was like, I have to have that. So the app I believe is called, let's see. It's called, um, oh, Top Widgets. As you can see right there, I don't know if you can see that. It's called Top Widgets. And you go in and you can basically customize a whole bunch of different widgets but what I did is I went to clock I chose this one and 
I chose transparent. And then what you have to do is you have to make sure that you take a picture of like your lock screen or your wallpaper. And you hit save location right here. And then you hit save again and it's gonna save it to yours. So you hit mine and then you go to wherever it's located. So medium clock, <laughs> I have all of these different ones. <laughs> but clock number one and then you hit install Hold on. you hit install and then install your widget now it gives you a whole entire tutorial right here on how to do it yeah, I really love that widget adorable it's so cute and so aesthetic and you guys should try it out if you like it too Okay, moving right along up top here, I have um, a widget from the Bible app. It just shows the verse of the day. Um, so the verse of the day today is Psalm 77, 11 through 12. And then right here, I have um, the Google Calendar widget. I don't add things to my Google Calendar, but I plan on doing that more. So yeah, that's my first page on my iPad. So the next page is a very minimal, very plain. Um, because that's just the way I wanted it to be so I'll bring you closer now I will say I'm going to be updating my iPad and as I learn more about it and as I learn more about different apps and um, like shortcuts and stuff like that I will definitely be adding more to it so stay tuned for updated what's on my iPad. So I have four folders right here with like my most important apps in them. So like I said, my iPad is really for creativity and productivity. So as you saw with this page, um, this helps me with my productivity, having my planner, having, you know, to-do list, having my Notion pages. So here I kind of follow that same pattern. I have this photo widget again from widget smith and it says if you have a vision that doesn't serve others it's probably too small um that's from john maxwell and i really like that quote so my first folder here is finances i have afterpay ally bank digit etsy capital one amazon and every dollar so um you guys probably know what afterpay is ally bank is just another bank <laughs> that i have an account with Digit helps me save money. Etsy is really cool because um, I am working on some products that I might or might not be selling on there soon. <laughs> um, Capital One, um, another bank. Amazon, I love this <laughs> app, okay? Because I can quickly just go to Amazon and add stuff to my list or to my cart. Um, I'm always adding like equipment or like different um, things that I need. So that's why I have Amazon. And then every dollar is a budget system that um, I really want to use more. So yeah. And then this is my admin folder. So I have my Google Drive, Google Docs. I have Meta Business Suite, which is how I schedule my content for it. Um, all of the Instagram accounts that I have. <laughs> um, and then I have YouTube Studio, which helps me see my YouTube analytics. I have my Gmail um, account here in the Gmail app. And then I have files. I have different files that I like to use. And then Upwork, which helps me um, gain freelance jobs um, in social media and also um, in content creation. So. I'm sorry about my voice. I was sick last week and I'm still recovering. So if I sound like there's a frog in my throat, that's why. So in my create folder, I have Lightroom, which helps me um, put filters or helps me edit my photos. And preview is a uh, Instagram planning app. So I can plan out how my feed is going to look before I post on Instagram. Premiere Rush is a like a video editing app. It's like Adobe Premiere Pro, but like a mobile, I think, version. <laughs> um, so this is really great for editing reels, and that's what I like to use it for. And of course, I have Canva. I literally design my whole entire life in there. I have Notability, which you can take notes. I like to draw Notability. <laughs> um, then I have Mila Note, which I'll show you. This is just like 
a vision board slash um, like a mood board builder. So here I have like a room makeover board. So um, this is what it looks like. You know, you can just plan how you want something to look, whatever it is, whether it's um, a collection that you're working on, your YouTube channel. It's really good for like um, building, oh, for building um, mood boards, like I said. And then I have a WordPress, which helps me um, with my blog. I have a blog. It's linked in the description. Go check it out. And Unsplash is really good for like photos, um, stock photos. And it's free. They have some really beautiful stuff on here. I love it. And then lastly, I have Adobe Illustrator, which is like um, a design app kind of where you can like make different um, text and things. And I really like using that as well. So that's my create folder. Lastly is my socials folder. Um, so I just have, you know, your basic socials, Instagram, but you should definitely follow me on Instagram. Um, Pinterest, follow me on that too. <laughs> I love Pinterest. I can spend hours on Pinterest. And then I have Facebook. I'm never on here, but <laughs> because it's connected to Instagram, I just like to have it. Then YouTube, of course, I was watching a video. YouTube <laughs> and then lastly TikTok of course we love TikTok Ugh. TikTok is hilarious and yeah so that's it for this page um, and I'll take you through some of the apps that I have um, in productivity and finance Grammarly Grammarly is so good you add it to your keyboard like when you're texting or when you're sending out an email and it will correct your grammar it'll fix your sentences if you put in what you want your your um, message to sound like it'll help you get the right tone in your message it's just it's great it's pretty amazing i would also say notion is really good i showed you the little widget that i have for it but this is the full notion app i love it i'm obsessed it helps me stay you know organized and it helps me stay like on track with a lot of my projects that I'm working on. Slack, uh, here's a widget smith, Zoom, <laughs> of course. Fiverr is another freelance um, app. Habit helps you keep track of your habits. Um, so I have been drinking water. I don't know how many ounces I've drank though. Let's just say eight. Yay. <laughs> um, I did go on a walk today. Um, did not take my vitamin D. <laughs> and I did not work out. But I love this app. I also have it on my phone. It helps me keep track of my habits. You have the mail. <laughs> I have 17,000 notifications. That's ungodly. Here I have the entertainment folder. But yeah, I think I watch a lot of Hulu and Netflix the most on here. Um, I also have Roku and YouTube Kids for my cousin. Photo and video, a lot of these you already saw. Camera Connect helps me connect to my camera so I can see what I look like um, when I'm filming. A camera app, photo app, of course. Facetune helps um, me blur out things in my pictures sometimes. Google Photos, I literally have photos from like 2009 in my Google Photos. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but get Google Photos if you don't have it, it's great. Utilities, just boring stuff. Why don't they have a calculator on the iPad? I wanna talk to whoever's in charge. Why is that not a thing? I have Google Maps and Google, not Google, Apple Maps. <laughs> I don't know when I will ever use that on my iPad, but okay. And then I have the arcade folder here and then the games folder i don't know why that's on there twice but um i love playing games on my ipad so right now i have this home game it's like a design game where you can like be an interior designer and design different rooms and stuff i used to play this like way back in the day um when i first got my like um iphone like 2013 or something like that 
and I love this game and I recently like re-downloaded it and I love it kind of going broke but <laughs> that's okay and then another game that I love is Cozy Grove it's an arcade game and you basically are a camper it'll pull up in a second here it is isn't that so cute so basically you're a camper well not a camper you're like a scout like a girl scout or a boy scout and you've been sent to this island to help out the bears like literal bears on this island <laughs> it's so cute look 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 at it it's so cute this is my little like setup here um i love this game <clears throat> it does take up a lot of space um and then i have information and reading folder um so I, I already told you I had iBooks. I also have Goodreads. Follow me if you want. I'm reading books all summer. Um, and I've been trying to update this as much as I can. So follow me on Goodreads. Um, oh, it's not signed in. <laughs> it's signed in on my phone. Shopping. We saw a little bit of that already. Um, creativity. Um, all of the standard apps. That are currently offloaded <laughs> but i also use InShot sometimes for reels and tiktoks and then lastly fitness so better help is a therapy app i am in therapy um drink water reminder fitness app all of these are offloaded on here but i have them on my phone as well nike training app love this thing so much this is how i get my workouts in i'm not signed in on my ipad but i'm going to because I'm going to be trying some of their Pilates workouts soon. So I'm excited for that. Noom is a weight loss app, sleep cycles, a sleeping app, and Zero I think is another weight loss app. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think I downloaded this on my phone and so it ended up on my iPad. So that is my iPad. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I've only had this for a short amount of time, so I'm still playing with it. So far, I love it. It keeps me on track. It keeps me creative. It's so cute. Um, yeah, and so I can't wait to play around with it some more and add some more things and hopefully get you guys an updated version of this video. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.